What a bad year of gaming for me, for me personally. I have in my Steam review of this year, I played a lot of games, 42 and 29 new games, a lot of playtests, a lot of open betas, a bunch of refunds even. And the other thing that we're gonna do is go through the Game of the Year awards from Steam, just so I can realize how little I actually played of games that are Game of the Year finalists. I played none of that. I played none of that. Also bad year personally with a guard attack with wisdom tooth operations too that didn't go well with a lot of pain afterwards, a lot of blood, swelling, a lot of teeth problem anyways because I'm getting my teeth fixed with an Invisalign. A person died at work in the place I work. He drowned and we had reanimation and ambulance people there and he died. So much bad stuff about you for me. Also gaming wise, my favorite game died. Whew, what a bad start. Okay, let's vote though. I, if I want to treat myself, will buy myself Baldur's Gate 3 next year and mod that up. I don't want to talk about much personal bad stuff. It gets the moon down. Leave for company. I've seen gameplay of that. That looks like a fun co-op game with friends. I don't have none. Ah, I, don't, I like playing on my own. Every friend wants to play Call of Duty and I've only Call of Duty seemingly. Maybe a little bit of FIFA if you actually sit down with them. But I've played none of that. I uh, watched Resident Evil gameplay. I'm not a Harry Potter fan. Lethal Company seems fun, but I would replace that with Star Wars Jedi Survivor in here. Then I would have a favorite. But let's go with Voldaskate. Vol with Volders and Gate, VR game of the year, played none of that. Don't know any of that. Must be Ghost of Tabor. <laughs> Labor of Love Award. This game has been on for a while. The team has walked past the debut of the creative baby. Where's, where's the Sacro Frontier in here? The only thing I played is Apex Legends. I hated the last season, but I didn't play anything else here. So there you go, Apex. I liked season 18 at least, so there, for your love of love. Best game on Steam Deck didn't play any of that. <laughs> but I can't refuse the potato. Ah, oh, damn it. It's just weird. I played so many games seemingly, but none of those games so far. Almost. Battle with Friends Awards. <laughs> uh, another list of games I didn't play. I don't even know Tark Tide or Party Animals. Ah, there you go, Leaf Company. You're in there a lot. This game got a lot of popularity and it actually seems good. And I've heard it's created by just one person. Can't be right. Outstanding Visual Style Award. I played Atomic Heart, Baba. Baba. But I never finished it because I hate the gameplay mechanics. It's good looking here and there, not everywhere. It's the only game I played high on life. There was a lot of controversy with that game. Oh, I'll watch gameplay cocoon. Pretty boring. I don't see how that is in here. Ah, oh, da. I hate to do it, but here you go, you bastards. Take that. What most innovative gameplay was <laughs> Starfield? Yeah, right. Uh, I know what we're picking here. Mm. There are two games of late here. Starfield, uh, Remnant from the Ashes, Remnant 2. There it is. And I enjoy Remnants. I didn't enjoy Starfield. I played 30 hours. It was not really, it wasn't my thing. I don't know why it's in here, but there we go, Remnant. Take it. Best games you suck at the wood. They need Remnant 2 in there. Hmm. The only game I played is Overwatch 2 here. Nothing else. But I don't feel like I suck at Overwatch 2. Lords of the Fallen is something I was interested in. Yeah, I didn't play it. That makes no sense if I vote for it. 
No, oh, the Overwatch remnant too belonged in here. Sadly. Sadly. Not your best soundtrack award. <laughs> then again, I didn't play any of that. It's probably gonna be Last of Us 2 because people know it. It came out this year. I don't know. Pizza Tower. There you go. Outstanding Story Rich Game Award. Well, here we have it. Jedi Survivor, the only game I played. Resident Evil, I don't know why the remake is even in here. I feel like that is cheating. What the hell is that? Love is all around. Okay. No clue what that is. Uh, Jedi, of course, I enjoyed in that game. If I would rank my top three games this year, is The Circle Frontier. I know it's that. Remnant 2 and Jedi Survivor. Sit back and relax, reward. I didn't play none of that. But the studio that made Dave the Diver may, is making Nark one the last Paradise game that I play test and drew it. So there you go, take your rewards. And that's it with the voting. Ah, it's a full list of... Mm, I didn't play any of that. None of that. Let's watch it over what we played. Where am I music-wise done here? Skip. The Mask Effect Ambience. So many games. Also switched to mouse and keyboard more and more. Last year it was pretty much all controller. <laughs> I mean, there we have the games I played apparently the most. The Circle Frontier 33 times. That's a screenshot. That's the saddest thing. The game I played the most this year. Uh, and it's that. That. And that's uh, that's like 30%. And the other two games that I played the most are 8%. That's a big difference. Big difference. Also, Star Siege. That zone is pretty much that player wise. Which should have been the successor immediately. Okay, okay. How you compare Stack your year against the rest of the Steam community? What's that? Okay. Chief Man's longest streak was so I'm pretty much mediocre everywhere? Or is that how good I am? Um, I don't get that. New releases. Mm. By the numbers, badges. You are what you play, extraction shooter, yeah. So it's like space, open world, looter shooter. The Outer Worlds is something I played a lot, but that was on the Epic Store. So that's not on here. That's probably the. Yeah, it's not a new release either. Okay, extraction shooter, so it's like expert. Ah, oh, sorry. Let's play. <laughs> And here it is, another screenshot. Oh, I played that game so much. So, end of March, I had my second Wisdom Tooth operation. And at the second one, I was more at home. I needed more time and I started playing the Circle Frontier for the whole day. Pretty much. And then we have August, we have my Gout Attack. And of course, Gout Attack, you can't do stuff either. I played through the whole of August. So this game helped me through two bad times. My second guard attack and my wisdom tooth operation my second time. In March I played more of Call of Duty. They had an update end of March. The Circle Frontier that got me into the game again. Because I completely forgot about how good it is. And I played for 10 hours last year. But before then I played just Call of Duty with friends, uh, I healed better with the first Wisdom Tooth operations. It was just more bloody from the start, a lot of blood coming out of the wound. I was sitting around for 8 hours and uh, just trying to stop the bleeding in my mouth. And uh, well, the second one was the swelling, the first one was the heavy blood flow at first. And then I played Call of Duty with friends the first month, month in March. But not on Steam. It was on the Battle.net launcher. Damn. And this game is that. Remnant. And November was the DLC. July it came out. 
no surprise here a lot of achievements apex october lot season 18 was in full effect there i needed something to play uh, instead of the cycle i believe i had still a lot of free time was that when starfield came out i'm not sure that makes a lot of sense too how many is our sessions day streak started this year no playtime meh oh yeah that's basically the start of the year it's not on my top three games list because it's first of all a remake and second of all so much stutter just with stuff here so much stutter august uh, oh i'm a lot here let's check it out everything Mm, Outriders, Dead Space, Fallout, Stray, Death in the Water 2. Mm. Black and Tail is a very good game. Clownfield, <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's Dead Space and that's pretty much the other games. Void Drain, I forgot about that one. Fallen 3, Jedi Survivor, The Cyber Frontier, there it started. And the other games, Psycho, Just Survive, a lot of that. Void Drain, there's so many playtests and demos and stuff. Fallout, New Vegas, did a permadeath. I still have, I still have parts that I can upload from the DLC and I've uploaded the DLC. I still have a let's play for that, a short one. Run on Rocket Lake. I play Rocket League here and there. So many games. So many games. Starfield, not a lot of that. Soon, yeah, that's pretty much a look at that. And so many play tests in that month. So many play tests here. Don't do a lot recently. Damn, I'm getting mouth clicks a lot. Okay. Controller game. Mass Effect. Returnal. Not even in there. Mm. <laughs> that shouldn't be in here. Nothing else is good. Then we have a full list. I'm relief. Ranked with numbers. Jesus. That's a long list. And I played a lot of epic store games too. And a lot of demos that was meh meh okay we we don't hear god damn it the circle frontier is it even listed here yes it's number one game mm. view store page <laughs> oh recent reviews it's not even reviewed that good weird but you can't get it Mm. Oh, my number one game this year. <laughs> Third. Third. I'm gonna look at my wish list real quick. See if anything got a release date. Oh, that's. What is that? That Alex like open world RPG game coming out next year, 15 March. That's plan. Cristalna is something souls like with cats. Gothic remake. But it's not coming out this year, I believe. Next year. A lot of games that will get playtests. That's something new I've seen that looks good. Like the day before, but Fallout like. And hopefully working. <laughs> hopefully. Damn. But this looks good. Uh, uh. Hell is us, that's PvPvE extraction like, I believe. Mm, or maybe not. Also not coming out next year, damn. Stalker should come out, Exekiller, nope, sadly. Arc Raider, still no playtest, you cannot say that. Whenever it's gonna get a playtest. Whenever. That's pretty much the closest game to the Circle Frontier, seemingly. 
This is sci-fi. This is like Returnal. Anger for the school. Hopefully it gets a release soon. Let's see. Ah, uh, no release that yet. I played the demo of that. That's a hell of a game. And so many indie games. And that's from the developers of Dave the Diver. That's the zombie extraction game I played before the day before. Which was good. A lot of fun. That's a weird transition, ladies and gentlemen. Just this game. And then. And then the zombie game. Okay. We don't. Till next year. Hopefully better. But I have no faith that the gaming side is gonna get better. I'm probably just gonna buy Baldur's Gate and mod it to oblivion. That's something I could look up. Baldur's Gate. Right. Mods. How many? Holy Jesus Christ. So many. Two hundred and seven pages of goddamn mods. Oof. That's a lot. It's probably more than Starfield. No, oh, come on. Oh, popular all the time. How many pages? Damn it. Mm. Nope, nope, never mind. Oh. I don't think I will ever finish this game. My voice isn't doing good today. Oh. Yeah. Those look good though. <laughs> okay, with that weirdness. We don't. Oh, look, Sif eyes. Damn. Can I have that in close up? Button right corner. Oh, 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 oh. The red ones. No, not those. This one. Ah, this one, especially. I see a city in the back. Very cool, very cool. 